welcome to Elvatex channel. Today we are going to tell you about the 5 most common mistakes that beginners often make while using with portable XRF analyzers Prospector. These devices are able to handle a wide class of applications including metals and alloys, uh, autocatalysts, soils, art, petrochemicals, precious metals and more. But despite their versatility and broad applications, the accuracy and quality of your analysis is up to you. Let's look how to avoid these mistakes. One of the key mistakes of beginners is improper sample preparation. This can greatly affect the accuracy of the analysis. Let's see how to avoid this mistake. First is a cleaning of solid samples. Before you start analyzing metals and alloys, Keep in mind that surface clean cleanless plays a huge role. Use a suitable file to truly clean the surface. Remember, different samples may require different tools and cleaning methods. And remember, you should have a different file for different types of samples so that you don't get particles of other elements on the surface while stripping. For example, one for aluminum alloy, one for steel, and so on. Second is avoid sandpaper for light elements. When analyzing light elements such as aluminum, it is important to emphasize do not use sandpaper for cleaning. Using it for cleaning may introduce silicon particles to the sample surface and the result of the analysis may be distorted. Third is the preparation of bulk samples. For bulk samples such as autocatalysis or soil, proper preparation is especially important. Use special cuvettes and pre-crush the samples to the desired consistency. This will provide more accurate and representative analytical result, taking into account the diversity of composition within the sample. To maximize accuracy, use pressing powdered samples or fusing them into glass tablets. Force accounting for sample heterogeneity. If sample is not completely pulverized or has a heterogeneous structure, Perform several measurements by mixing the sample inside the cuvet and averaging the result. This method will reduce the effects of heterogeneity, providing more accurate analytical results. Also, excellent results are obtained by using the standalone sample rotator. And 5. Replacing cuvet when changing sample types. Keep in mind that when changing sample types, be sure to replace the cuvet. This will prevent cross-contamination of previous analysis result and ensure the purity and accuracy of the current measurement. Now we're gonna show you how one sample can provide you with two different results, which can be confusing. So, as you can see, one side of the sample was cleanly prepared and ready for measurement. And another side of the sample we took just as it is, now we put the, uh, the clean side to our lab stand and start the analysis. As we done with the clean side, now we're gonna take the other unprepared side for the measurement. Start analysis and you will see the difference. And now we're going to proceed with the analysis for mining application. Uh, as you can see, the sample is heterogeneous and the results on each side would be absolutely different. Let's start. So we just measured the site and as you can see, analysis appears on the screen. Uh, let's measure this side. Just torn it and start the analysis. 
as you can see, the results are absolutely different in only one mineral. Now you know how to avoid sample preparation errors. Proper sample preparation is the first step to reliable analytical results with Prospector handheld XRF analyzers. The second common mistake is using wrong calibration during measurements. Let's take it clear why this is a crucial and how to avoid this trap. First, define your analytical task. Before you begin, you need to understand what materials are going to be analyzed and what elements are going to be in investigated. Different calibration are used for different types of material and analytical application. Calibration is the process of adjusting and verifying the accuracy of analyzer to detect elements in different materials. Just as scales are adjusted at the factory ensure the show the correct weight, calibration and XRF analyzer allow you to tune the machine that accurately determining how and which elements are present in sample. This is done by using known standard samples with known elemental content. Second, choosing the right calibration. When selecting a calibration, make sure it is appropriate for types of sample you are going to analyze. For example, if you are working with alloys, use the calibration for alloys and not for other types of materials. If you are interested in precious metals and autocatalysis, the autocatalyst calibration would be appropriate. If you are interested in analyzing gold, choose precious metals calibration. In both the first and second case, we are interested in precious metals, but different calibrations are used for this task. Third, switching between calibrations. If you need to analyze a different types of material during analysis, be sure to switch to the appropriate calibration. Using the wrong calibration can lead to inaccurate or incorrect result. Incorrect calibration can lead to underestimation or overestimation of elemental content. First, recalibration when changing the task. If your analytical task changes during operation and you do not have the proper calibration, for example, you start working with the new types of materials, contact the manufacturer to recalibrate the analyzer. This will ensure your measurements are accurate and reliable. Remember, use the correct calibration, keep track of changes in analytical task, and periodically check the quality of your measurements. This will help you to avoid mistakes of using the wrong calibration when using Prospector handheld analyzers. The next mistake we are going to talk about is not replacing protective cartridges on time. Why is it so important? Let's get to the bottom of it. First, the role of protective cartridges. Protective cartridges are a barrier between the sample and the detector. They prevent dirt and particles from reaching the detector, which can destroy the result of the analysis. Second is a cartridges type. There are different types of protective cartridges, and you should always use the cartridges recommended by the analyzer manufacturer. The usage of cartridges different from those that were used during calibration will definitely lead to error in the result because different types of protective cartridges have different thickness and materials and accordingly absorb x-ray differently thus a thicker cartridge will absorb low energy radiation more strongly leading to underestimating of the concentration of light elements during measurement third accumulation of particles accumulation of particles each time an analysis is performed particles from sample that may not be visible to the naked eye remain on the protective cartridges this is normal but over a long period of use they accumulate and can affect the accuracy of measurements regular replacement regular replacement to ensure accurate result replace the protective cartridge regularly Recommendations for replacement frequency may vary for different sample times, but in general, damaged and contaminated cartridges should be replaced. The characteristics of the materials. Note that different materials may leave traces on the cartridges. For example, aluminum alloys may leave aluminum particles that can be significantly affect the accuracy of other samples, especially those containing light elements. In such cases, replace the cartridge before analyzing other materials. Remember, 
regular and proper replacement of the protective cartridges is the key to reliable and accurate analysis. Our prospector analyzers are reliable analytical instrument, but it is important to keep the protective cartridges in good condition. There are two most common types of cartridges for analysis of light elements and without light elements. The difference of them is in a sickness. We continue our journey through the mistakes that you should avoid when operating Prospector XRF analyzers. Next, we will talk about insufficient measurement time. This is an important aspect to keep in mind. Dependence of accuracy on time. Remember that the accuracy of the analysis is directly related to the time of measurement. The longer the sample is exposed to X-ray, the more accurate the concentrations of elements obtained will be. This is due to the fact that prolonged exposure allows for more accurate measurement of poorly represented element. Value scatter. Too short measurement time may lead to large scatter of result. This is especially important for elements present in small amounts in the sample. Insufficient time will not give the analyzer enough information for stable measurement, which can lead to unpredictable results. Detection of rear elements. If your goal is to detect rear or trace elements, pay attention to the measurement time. By increasing the measurement time, you increase the likelihood of detecting elements that would have gone undetected with a shorter measurement. Measurement time recommendations. As you know, Prospector analyzers are four times faster than other analyzers. Therefore, to obtain similar result, it is enough to use a four times shorter analysis time, which increases your productivity. For most routine measurements and analysis time settings for one second or five seconds is analyzing light elements, is enough. In cases where accuracy of detection limits are prioritized over speed, you can increase the analysis time from 10 to 30 seconds. Adaptation to the material. Remember, the different types of material may require different measurement time. For example, dense material may require less time than complex materials such as powders or plastics. Adjust the measurement time to the specific materials for the best result. So remember, the measurement time is the key factor in getting reliable result. Do not hesitate to increase it, especially if you are looking for rear elements or aiming for high accuracy. In the final part of our video on avoiding the most common mistakes when operating prospector analyzers, we will talk about the last but most important mistake – radiation safety. Understanding X-ray radiation before operating the analyzer, you should be familiar with the terms X-ray and radiation safety. Prospector analyzers use X-ray to analyze chemical composition of sample. This radiation is electromagnetic emission that can penetrate a substance and detect information about its elemental composition. Don't hold the sample in your hands. One of the basic principles of radiation safety is to avoid direct exposure of the human body to X-ray. Never hold an object of examination in your hands during analysis. Even with a low radiation dose, prolonged or repeated exposure to organs and tissue can lead to negative consequences. Protect others. Do not point the X-ray beam at other people. Exposing others may be dangerous to their health. Provide a safe area around the analyzer during operating and do not allow anyone near the instrument during analysis. Usage of the laboratory stand. Always use the lab stand when analyzing highly scattering and X-ray transparent materials such as liquids, plastics, soils, etc. Regular checkups and maintenance. Keep the analyzer, especially its radiation safety system, in good condition and in proper operating order. Perform regular inspections and maintenance according to the manufacturer's recommendation to ensure reliable operating and minimize the risk. Now that you are safety conscious, remember that your health and safety comes first. Use all necessary precautions when working with the prospector analyzer. Always follow radiation safety rules and instructions. 
This applies to both the rules of use and maintenance of the instrument. We have covered five key mistakes to avoid when using Prospector handheld analyzer. Remember that proper sample preparation, correct calibration, on-time cartridge replacement, adequate measurement time, and safety precautions are important factors in achieving reliable analytical result. Thank you for your attention. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, hit the bell to be informed of our new video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned and see you soon.